Illumina faciem tuam, super servum tuum, et salvum me fac in tua misericordia. Domine non confunda, quoniam invocavite. Our communion chant for this Sunday uh, comes from Psalm 31. And uh, what's a really striking uh, parallel and comparison is that this is the same psalm that she used as a responsorial psalm on Good Friday. So at this moment where Christ has poured himself out completely uh, in his incarnation and then in his passion and, and uh, will be his death, um, the church puts in our mouths Psalm 31, this psalm. And that's very fitting uh, because uh, the, the English text reads, uh, let your face shine upon your servant and, and, and make salvation in me. <laughs> Do this in your mercy, Lord. Uh, I will not be confounded uh, since I call upon you. The lowest point in the text is when it refers to Christ, uh, your servant, super servum tuum. Immediately though, right after this very low point, uh, the text springs up at, at salvum may uh, fac, make your salvation in me, as if Christ's emptying out I cannot be thought of without this immediate rising that we know will happen in the resurrection. Now one thing musically that I find so striking when I sing this chant is the number of loquescence. Loquescence are uh, notes where there's a specific uh, indication for us as the as the singers uh, to grab the consonants and, and, and really dig into them. Illumina, faciem, servum, et salvum, misericordia, non confundar, and they emphasize all these important words. Lord, let your face uh, let your face shine on me, lighten me with your face. Illumina, et salvum, make salvation in me, um, etc. All of these words are meant to, to come out and, and be heard by the congregation uh, as a true proclamation of the word of God uh, given to us in this chant to remind us of Christ's condescension, his pouring himself out for our salvation and our reception of that, that we too are, are, are God's servants, that we too uh, can rise up uh, in the salvation that is given to us in Christ. And that can be our prayer this Sunday as we receive Holy Communion, uh, that Christ's salvation, that the salvation coming through him uh, truly takes root in our hearts. Illumina faciem tuam, super servum tuum, et salvum me. Domine non confu.